We are going to find the intercepts of the graph 25x minus 30y is equal to 1200. As we can see, the question is asking us to find the intercepts. We are going to find both the x and also the y intercepts. So let's go ahead and do our x intercept first. And to do so, we have to remember first, we have to let y equal to 0 whenever we're trying to find the x-intercept. So this is the key right here. We are going to plug in 0 into the y from this equation, and then we will solve for the x. And let's go ahead and do that. So we will have 25x right here, minus 30. And this y now will become 0. And let me just plug in 0 into this parentheses. And then we have this is equal to 1200. So this is the equation that we have to solve. Of course, the minus 30 times 0 like this, this is just 0. So we just have to do 25x is equal to 1200. Here we have 25 times x is equal to 1200. So we can just divide both sides by 25. This way we can cancel the 25 and then we can get the x by itself. x will be 1200 divided by 25 that will give us 48. And then to answer the question, for the x-intercept, remember it's a point. The x-value is 48, y-value is 0. So the x-intercept right here, it will be the point 48, 0. And let's go ahead and find out the y-intercept. And then for this one right here, we are going to let x equal to 0. So you have to remember this. For the y-intercept, you make x equal to 0, and you plug it into the equation and then solve for y. So let's go ahead and do that. We will have 25 times the x, then you open a parentheses, and then the x value is this 0 right here. So let me plug in, and then we will have minus 30y. It's equal to 1200, and then 25 times 0 is just 0. So then we just have the negative 30y it's equal to 1200, okay? And this is what? This is negative 30 times y. So to get rid of the negative 30, we will have to divide by negative 30 and we do that on both sides. So this negative 30 and this negative 30 will cancel each other out. And then we will have y equals to 1200 divided by negative 30 that will give us negative 40. And just like the x-intercept, the y-intercept is also a point. We know the x value is 0, so we have to write it down first. And the y value is negative 40. So 0, comma, negative 40. This is the y-intercept, and this was the x-intercept. So this right here is the answer. That's it.